Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I know what you're saying. What is he doing with a car behind him? So this might be a boring uh, video here, um, but I, believe it or not, I get some comments, some emails on what is that red car behind the Mooney in the hangar? Well, here's my 2017 Corvette Grand Sport. This was my dream car as a child. Uh, just like aviation, I'm into cars. So I have all the expensive hobbies, it seems like, right? Uh, but, you know, it, this was my dream car and I am happy to pull the trigger on it a couple of years back. Um, I did get it brand new in 2017. She is three years old uh, already and um, 4,000 miles on it. So I do drive it, but this is my dream car. This is what I worked hard along with my private pilot's license, along with my airplane. I've worked since I was 10 years old, believe it or not. Um, and here I am today living my dreams. I worked very, very hard to accomplish. And I know it can be difficult. Um, I've had four jobs and went to college full time and it was tough for me to go through all that and still saving money and still investing in the stock market at a young age and still doing what I'm doing today and having a great time doing it. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that red car behind the Mooney is my 2017 Corvette Grand Sport. Um, my dream car in the same hangar with my dream airplane and not necessarily my dream airplane at the time but my aviation love story continues in the hangar along with my Corvette. So um, work hard, folks. Uh, you might have to have two, three jobs to eventually get there. Um, man, I was pushing lawnmowers with my father when I was like, 12 and 13 years old and picking up grass and doing all that fun stuff. There was no Go GoFundMe back then, <laughs> back then. So my GoFundMe was me pushing a lawnmower to be able to afford uh, my dreams 
um, that came true over the last couple of years and just so happy and proud to be able to experience this in my own personal life and experience stuff with you guys on YouTube and Facebook and now Instagram to show that you, if you work hard, anything is possible. And um, if you can't do something, work harder to try to get it. It might not be overnight, it might not be five, six, seven years, but over a course of time, you will get there. Trust me, I am living proof of that. I was not raised in a rich family. I was low, in, in, uh, low, low class, I guess, at the time. Uh, you know, eating ramen noodle soups a lot and doing my thing I had to do and take care of my family. And every time I video, either there's something going on in the back of me with chainsaws or there's animals fighting, like my last video, and sure enough, Someone's cutting a tree down. So every time I push the record button, this is what I get. But anyways, get back on topic here. Um, but yes, yeah, anything is possible, folks. And let's, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk through the car and show you what it, what it looks like. Um, the Grand Sport compared to a coupe. Basically, the fenders are flared out. You get an oil cooler, um, transmission cooler, um, all the duct works that's on the side of the vehicle. Um, air ducts actually have a purpose, and it is a really cool car. And I'm so happy I was able to save and work hard to get this car along with my aviation um, fun stuff that I have in the hangar. Um, I know what you're gonna say in the comments, I'm sure I'm gonna get emails. So some guys like to email more than comment, which is fine, I don't care. Yes, I know the C8 is out and uh, it's hard for me to pull that trigger. Uh, not because of the money issue, but money is part of it, um, but you know they got rid of the um, stick shift. This is a, one of the last years they had stick shift available. It's a seven speed um, transmission. Um, what I would love to do is keep this and buy a C8 if possible. But that, again, it's a lot more work I have to do um, to save up some funds to buy that vehicle. So let's stick around, we'll go through the car. Okay, so here's my girl. Black alloy uh, wheels, obviously, um, again, all the duct work actually has a purpose on the vehicle, um, and it's awesome. Um, competing, you know, the, the flares are, are uh, flared out in the back compared to the um, regular coupe, compared to the Grand Sport. This does not have the supercharger. I did not go that route. Um, sometimes I told myself I wish I would have done it, but this car is very quick. Don't need to go any faster. So let's get in the car. So the roof does come off, okay? This comes off and it stores actually in the trunk. And push the button right here. And if you guys don't know vets, these two brackets right here and right here where the roof slides into. And I use this car, you see some scratches here. And this wire plugs in at the hangar. So the winter's coming, I plug it in and it keeps the battery tender charged. So that's basically the back here. So that roof does come off. And a good thing about, I like about the um, Corvettes is that it turns into basically a convertible. Uh, take the top down, you have the whole top open, windows down, it's awesome. Um, but here's the interior. Um, again, just a, a Grand Sport interior. Uh, well, actually, it's the same interior basically as a coupe. The only thing different is you get this badge. Wow. <laughs> but here's the seven speed manual transmission. Um, it has match rev, it has all the fun stuff in here. It's a great, it's a fun, fun car. And turn it on. <laughs> Everything comes alive, as you can see there. Pretty cool. I got the, left the keys in here. The key's probably dying soon. Little hiding spot here. But it's a great car. It really is a fun car. And you can really, really get on it and have a good time with it. And it sounds good. If it's, you can hear it on the GoPro here. So folks, I always say this, um, and I know it's like a broken record, uh, but but I'm living proof of really pushing myself 
for the dreams that I had as a child, uh, to what I wanted to do in life. Um, aviation and cars was my big one. Um, unfortunately, everything I like to do is expensive. Uh, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't go on a lot of vacations, um, I work hard, and you're able to, I'm able to take all that and put it into a car and airplane and have a great time in life. I never got involved in all that stuff in college or high school. And I always kind of put money away and put money away. And, but again, anybody could do it. You really have to work for it. Um, again, I never had GoFundMe and have any of that stuff. When I was a child, I was pushing a lawnmower for many years, many, many years, uh, all summer long. And uh, you guys, you can do it. I mean, anybody can do it. I know I keep saying it. You definitely could do it. You might have to work two, three, four jobs and really, really push yourself. It, it, it that's how unfortunately it is. Um, I was not raised in a in a, in a rich family. Um, you know, we were you know b below middle class, and but I knew what I had to do to get my goals and my dreams, and that's what I did. Um, so you guys can do it, and and dreams do come true. And I know I sound like a typical person who's blabbing and blabbing and blabbing about dreams and this and that, and but I'm living proof of that. I really, really am uh, living proof of that. And when I tell you, I had holes in my sneakers as a child when I had this, and I was doing, you know, uh, nothing. Um, I'm telling you, that's what I was doing, and uh, I worked hard, um, and it could happen. So I just want to show you this car to kind of put out there on, on in the internet world. Um, I'm not ashamed of how I was raised or anything like that. My family had to do what they had to do. Uh, but you can do it. And anybody could do it. A living proof of that. I was not a scholar in high school and in college. I wasn't the top 10 or the top, <laughs> probably, probably the bottom 10, right? Um, so I was I was always, you know, my sister would, would study for an hour and get A's. I would study for a week and get C's. And that's just how, I, is how it is. Um, but. Uh, I've worked hard and I know you guys can do it. I get a lot of emails on that and what you got to do to get your pilot's license, you know, what you have in the garage and, and well, in the hangar, you know, uh, in the hangar, I should say, not in the garage. Um, um, but you guys can do it. But that is my 2017 Corvette. Everybody always asks, what's that red car in the hangar? And that's what it is. Again, sorry about the boring video. Um, hopefully you like it. You know, hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. You know, again, I really appreciate the support. And I made a mistake last video. Uh, I think two video ago, videos ago. It wasn't 17,000 followers. It's now up to over 18,000 followers on Facebook. Thank you guys for that support. You can also find me on Instagram. Um, I started that maybe about a month and a half ago, two months ago. I almost had a thousand followers there. So thank you so much. Any questions, folks? PilotFun101 at gmail.com. And thanks for riding along in the car. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember, always try to live your dream. See you guys later.